everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and today we're going to have a gander at a game called Scrolls. Now, I'm going to do this mainly because a lot of people will beg me to do it regardless of if they want to see it or not, because it's made by Mojang, they made Minecraft. You love Minecraft, so you might love this. I actually haven't played any of this, so I'm going to have a little hop into the arena, because I know that there is a tutorial mode inside of here for single players, and I think possibly that was some kind of public server that I just joined. Uh, so this, I think, is the tutorial mode. Bah! Enough a young fool wishing to learn the ways of the scroll. I see. Another sheep eagerly making its way to slaughter. Okay. Very well. Listen up, little one. I'll teach you the basics, but then you're on your own. In order to cast your scrolls, you will need to pay the resources cost. You get resources by sacrificing scrolls. Okay. Right click one of your scrolls and then left click the green growth icon. Right, okay. So if I... Oh, which one? Oh, they're both the same, actually, so that's fine. <laughs> and then if I click the growth icon, that puts that into the bottom left corner, I see. As you can see, you now have one growth resource. Your resources will replenish after being each of your turns. Oh, at the beginning of each of your turns. Right, okay. So I've got one growth resource. Good. Now it's time to use your resources. Click your ragged wolf scroll and then choose a place for it to sit on your side of the board. Oh, I see, so you can actually sacrifice cards in order to spawn other cards. Ah, okay, cool. So you don't actually play them initially, because sometimes you play these cards in other games and then you replace them on the field with a new monster. So there we go. Now click the wolf and let's have a closer look at its numbers. All right. So the first number is its attack. That's a given. It's got a sword. This shows how much damage it will deal when attacking. All right. The middle number is the countdown. This shows how often it will attack. A countdown of one means it will attack each turn. Oh, what? I've got to wait two turns to attack with my wolf. Come on, ragged. Uh, the rightmost number is its health, showing how much damage it can take before it is destroyed. Okay, so it's the idea that I've got to protect these five pillars along the left-hand side. And as you must have understood, the big yellow number at the top is the resource cost needed to summon it. Alright. Also note that when you click a creature, you can move it to a nearby tile. Right. The unit's countdown decreases by one at the beginning of every round. When it reaches zero, it will attack. Okay. Unless the rules on scroll states otherwise, the creature will attack in a straight line towards your opponent's idols. Oh, I see, so the idols are what we've got to do. Now click the hourglass icon at the bottom left of your screen to end your turn. Okay. Done. Whoa, he just like gnawed on his head. What are those he's got? Like, mine are like little, little tower things. But his are like really weird voodoo skill things. <laughs> it's, it's very, very weird. I too will summon a unit, although it will not summon a creature like you. I choose to summon a structure. Oh, I see. So you can like build a wall of like protection against your things. It can be very useful. Uh, although my useless contraption is good for nothing but blocking attacks, some have powerful abilities. Oh, it's got a health of four and I can only deal, was it one per turn? Uh, one thing you should know about structures is that they cannot move. So think twice before choosing where to place them. All right. Apart from the units, creatures, and structures, scrolls can either be enchantments or spells. Enchantments are placed on units, making them better or worse. Oh, so wait, can you put enchantments on opposing mobs? That would be pretty cool. Spells can do lots of different stuff. Basically, you have to read the rules on each scroll. I will soon give you six scrolls, so you can keep sacrificing and summoning. But first, I must tell you this. You will get one new scroll per turn and may only sacrifice once per turn. Once, once, ah! I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, also, you may choose what? You may choose to sacrifice a scroll to get two new ones. Just click the scroll icon instead of a resource icon. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. That's awesome, I guess. Um, oh, the most important part: how to win a match. It's when you take the five idols, isn't it? Five idols by the edge of the board. They have ten health each. God, these games must go on forever then. To win a match, you'll need to destroy three. Oh, okay, so that's not bad. You've got to deal 30 damage. Or it could be more, because if you attack a certain idol, then it starts getting blocked a lot. You might have to move on to a number one. So you could deal anywhere up to, like, what? You could go into the hundreds, at least, to do this. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to war with this dude. Now, I said I can trade in one resource to do stuff. So, like, that great wolf has got five resources, so I could sacrifice it. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> hold on a minute. 
So can I only sacrifice... Oh wait, so my account hasn't gone down on my resources. So wait, if I sacrifice it, do I have it forever? So that's got an attack of 3, an attack of 3, defense of 5. So if I sacrifice some of these smaller ones... What's this? Junkyard. Oh, it's a structure. Rat creatures you control gain plus 1. Well, that's a like a wolf, dog type thing. Who's he? Oh, he's got nothing on him. Uh, when Sister of the Fox comes into play, draw one scroll. Oh, okay. Should I try that? Oh, no, I can't, can I? I'll tell you what, let me... Let me give up this junkyard. No, 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 no. Right click. Give that up. And then I can play Sister of the Fox. And I'll play it here. Beautiful. Now I should be able to draw one scroll. Shouldn't I? Is that it? When it comes into play, I get a card. Oh, did I get another junkyard one? Ah, I see. Can I place that one as well? Oh, I don't have enough resources to play it this round. I see, so when it's my round again, I will have two resources again. Or at least I hope I would, out of two. And his resources are just in the form of cogs. Ah, this is cool. I like this. Okay, let's play a... Oh, God, he's got an attack of four. What is my health? One. <laughs> oh, God. Um, well, how does it work in waves? I'm interested to see how this works. If I was to play that there, it would take three damage against my junkyard, then one damage against that. Now, would it take out both of them or just one of them? Not too sure. It's only got a defensive two. So that's going to be an interesting one. Let me give up uh, this bad boy just here. Oh, what does that do? Oh, if I sacrifice that, I can draw two new cards. Okay, I see. So left, uh, right clicking it, you'll have the choice between turning it into a resource or drawing two more cards. Or scrolls, as they're called. Sorry. I should call them scrolls. It's the name of the game. This game isn't called cards. But there we go. Right. End my turn. He's going to kick the crap out of that one. Oh, okay. What did he just play? Okay, hold on, wait. There goes that. Oh, oh wait, so he did two damage back and then it leveled out and killed them. I see. So you don't have to go higher than their health value. You can actually go uh, equal and it will destroy the thing. That is pretty badass. Now, if I were to sacrifice... Oh, what does that one do? When Mangy Wolf deals damage, it is healed by one. Uh, other wolf creatures you control have their countdown decreased by one. <gasps> so if I played that, then my wolf would play every turn. Oh no, he's already playing every turn. He's playing by one. How often does that play? Zero. So wait, does that attack multiple times per turn? Or does it not attack at all? This is very weird. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to sacrifice... I'm going to sacrifice you in order to play my wolf. Oh, I don't have to res- Oh, I'm like two off. Bugger. Well, let me play one of these for this turn then. So if I play that there, that's got a health of four. So it might be worth me playing this. I'll play the more center field. So I can always put a barrier in front of them. So I can always put a structure out. Right, now if I end my turn. Bang! There you go. Down to nine. Oh, so when you first play them, they can't attack. Oh, no, of course, it's his attack rotation, isn't it? So I have to wait for every two turns in order to attack. Balls, that's a lot of damage. Oh, when it attacked, it disappeared. Right, so you don't constantly keep stuff out. The Leeching Ring, or oh, enchantment. When enchanted creature, uh, when enchanted creature deals damage, enchanted creature is healed by as much health as its original countdown. Right. Okay. So its original countdown for that one was say two, so that could heal it by two if it was going to be attacking that. So would it be worth playing that enchantment on that character there? And then maybe I can sacrifice this for my next turn. Because then I'll be able to play the Great Wolf next time. Let's see how this plays out. So there's that one there. Oh, nobody else attacked. Oh, no. What was that? Instead of... I didn't read what that said. Hold on. Let me click on him. Instead of attacking, Machine Priest heal all your structures by one when countdown is zero. Oh, no. Sorry. When countdown is zero, Machine Priest can move a structure one step in a random direction instead of healing. Ah, I see. Okay. Enchanted creature becomes poisoned for three rounds. What do you mean becomes poisoned? So wait, does that mean I can deal poison or I can do poison? Let me give it a shot. I'll try it on an enemy one. There we go. Yeah, look, he's poisoned now. Oh, no, but now I can't play the wolf. Oh, no. I done goofed. It costs two to play it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Never mind. There we go. There goes the structure. Oh, did the structure not disappear? Oh, no, I took it down by one, of course. My bad. Oh, and then it healed the structure for one. Enchanted unit gets plus two attack. Well, that can't run through that one, I don't think. It can't... The little beetle at the back, or the gun automat... Or, was that? Automaton? 
Oh, okay. The gun automaton can't run through this machine priest, or at least I don't think he can. So this might be good. Right, now if I were to... Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna give this up for resources. And I'm gonna play my wolf up here, because no one's gonna be messing with the wolf up here. There we go, look at that. Awesome. So I've got loads of stuff out now, let's see how this plays out. So he's gonna kill... Oh, he tried to kill him. Didn't quite get it. Although that thing's gone down to zero. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Well, not that confused. I'm getting it, but it's fine. Uh, enchanted creature becomes poison for three rounds. Good. Well, who should we get rid of? Considering that those priests don't attack, it might be good to enchant these little buggers that are sat behind them with a poison. Because that might slowly kill them off. There we go. Attack that one. Get rid of the tower, the structure. Good. Oh, what did you just play? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 stop it. What? Oh, he can shoot from behind. No way. So I've got to get through these priests, haven't I? I've got to get rid of them ASAP. All right, haste. Oh, so wait, does haste mean that I can attack straight away? That's usually what it means in any kinds of games. I'll tell you what, let me sacrifice that for a few more scrolls. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, when you sacrifice a card as well, or a scroll, it doesn't take away from your resources on the left-hand side. Ah. So he's got one attack, and I've got one health. So these two are going to cancel each other out on the middle aisle. So it might be worth playing the wolf up here. And then we need him to attack ASAP, really. I haven't got enough to play the champion ring right now. There we go. So what was it? I had to destroy three, didn't I? Oh my god. Am I able to move my characters around there? Because structures can't move, but mobs can. I need to look into this. Oh, there goes my sister wolf. Bugger, I've got a badass viking here, though. It's got a lot of firepower down the middle. Good god. Right, I'm gonna have to play this. Oh, I don't have enough resources to play that, though. Bugger. That's it, that's it. Okay. Right, they've moved aside. Deals free damage to target. No! Oh my god, this is bad. Okay, I've got an open lane for my second top wolf. The top lane wolf can take out that guy just there, so that's gonna be good. Can I quicken my warrior's move by one? Enchanted creature gains plus one and plus three health, but is unable to move. Uh, that's not really preferable. And this guy... I'm gonna play that down there. I'm gonna play the champion ring on my bottom wolf, man. And... Oh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I might just keep... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play this card on my middle guy. There you go. I'm gonna really beef him up so we've got a strong center. Because the center's the only one I've taken damage on, I think. Oh, no, apparently it's only the top one. Oh, wow, this actually has, like, you can see the wear on them as well. Like, you can see it's been cracked. Ah, and that wolf actually went through him as well. This is very cool. I'd love to play multiplayer with this with somebody. We'll have to do that. We'll have to get, like, me and Toby to face off against each other. Enchanted unit gains plus two attack and plus two health when Bear Paw enters play. Um, enchanted unit's cooldown increased by a one. Or decrease. Oh, no, increases by one, sorry. Do I want to play that on anyone? Who can attack? My Wolfman at the bottom's about to attack. That's got seven. Oh, God. Okay. Can I move him to there? Let's do that. Play the enchantment on him. And then he's going to go and totally kick ass on these guys in the middle. What? Oh, did it go up by one when I played it on him? Oh, I thought the Wolfman at the, near the bottom was going to do it. I might have to start sacrificing some scrolls. I haven't got enough defense on the other lines. I need some defense on this line most likely the bottom line is just a structure wasn't it yeah it's just a wall okay and that's it end turn oh yes is that the top pillar gone oh two right so next time my wolf's gonna be able to annihilate that that first uh, totem and now he's put a wall in the middle okay oh took a bit of damage there okay that's just a normal dude it might be good if i moved you back and move this guy in front of you to take a hit for one turn. And that's it. I don't think there's anything else I can do. So there you go. That's one wall in the center gone. Tribal Memorial. When Tribal Memorial comes into play... What was that? Increases growth by one. What's growth? I'm not sure I know what growth is. Rallying. All units control set countdown to zero. <gasps> oh, that could be very good. That could be very good indeed. I can get one massive attacks in the way. If I move him up to there behind him, play that, and then end the turn. 
Surely that will get everyone going nuts. Oh, look at the wipeout. That's incredible. First tome down as well. That was a power play, ladies and gentlemen. That was a scrolls power play. Take some of that. This is an awesome card game. I love this. Okay. You know what? They need to make real cards of this. I would love to play it. Okay. Uh, we may as well just put Sister Wolf at the bottom. That's only got one health. Or if I play her actually here, move my Wolfman down to the bottom. When Enchanted Creature deals damage, Enchanted Creature is healed by the same amount. Well, let's play that on... Who's taking some damage? What Does it show you what their initial health was? I'm not sure if it does. Hmm. That's the thing. It says it heals them. But I don't know what their initial health was. So let me give it to this guy here. Because he's probably already taken a hit. Now if we attack again. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, and I see all the enchantments that are active stay at the top of the board as well. Okay, cool. Enchanted creature gains plus one attack and plus three health, but is unable to move. Well, that guy can do four damage. Actually, I'm going to wipe him out at the end of this turn anyway, so there's not too much fuss in that. I can always beef up my wolf sister and then get them all to attack. There we go. Second totem down. There goes that guy. Oh, I should really have moved the other guys as well. Look at this. I'm annihilating this guy. The pupil has become the master. Ha ha. <laughs> Right, which totem has got the most damage done to it? It's that second row one, isn't it? Right, who can attack next turn? Let's move you up to there then. Uh, anyone else that can move? No, my wolf sister can't move too far. Right, we'll stick with that for now then. What's this? Um, when Mangy Wolf deals damage, it is healed by one. No, let's sacrifice that. Let's see what else we can get out. Bear Paw. Oh, that was the thing where... Yes. Yeah, when Bear Paw enters play, Enchanted Unit's cooldown increases by one. Ah, oh, bugger. I tell you what, I'm going to leave it. Let's just go for the attack. There we go. Actually, in all fairness, if I can move my Wolfman up to the second row, that would be good. What's he playing? So he's just got one priest. Is that priest going to try and heal that totem on the second row? Or can he only heal structures? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, let me play a wolf down here, I may as well. And away we go. Boom. There we go. Is that the totem down? Oh, the totem's got one health on it. Bugger. Okay. Pay one growth to heal Gravelock. Outcast. Right. I don't know what this growth is that he keeps talking about. Is growth just his resources? I get the feeling that's what it might be. He's put that down in a panic as well. That's probably going to get wiped out. Actually, if I move... Can I move my wolf down? No, they've both still got one attack to wait at the top. Uh, what else have we got? Now, we may as well just whack down another dude then. Actually, how much has this totem at the bottom got? Seven. Do I have anything that can do a massive amount of damage? If I move him down to there and place that card behind her as a little backup, let's see how this plays out. There we go. So the bottom totem's got two. So next turn, my Wolfman's going to be able to finish the game off for me. Ah, booyah! <laughs> this is cool. I like this. Right, this is very easy to pick up as well. And obviously the more difficult it gets and the more different types of enchantments, the more you're going to want to move your characters around the board. And actually having a character remaining static as well is going to become quite an issue. Now that's it, I've won this I think. Yep, that's cool. Let me enchant this dude here. Finish the round and let's kick some ass. Oh, I killed a second totem. I didn't even realise I'm going to get four out of the five in my first game. Victorious! <laughs> Amazing. So there we go. My first ever game of scrolls. If you want to get this, I'm not sure how publicly available it is right now. I know that you can get it if you buy PC Gamer in the UK. At least that's what Toby was telling me. Uh, and also people that went to Minecon last year got an alpha gift, uh, a scrolls alpha code uh, in their email address. So if you go to your inbox, if you went to Minecon last year, then check it and it should be there. If you want to see any more videos on this, I actually really enjoyed it. It's quite tactical. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!